Okay, the frog tutorials take you up to this point. And at this point now, we want to send you off to add additional elements into the game uh, that are going to make your game more awesome and more personalized. Uh, the only things that you see here in front of you that weren't on the tutorials are the food truck on the bottom and the food truck on the top, which are coded very similar to the bus other than uh, some of the Y coordinates and, of course, the speed, so they're inconsistent. Just like with innovating anything, now we want to look at this game and think about uh, our golden question of wouldn't it be nice if? If you play other Frogger games, you see uh, different elements in the game other than just these basic things where you have your high score variable, you may have your pause button, you have your home screen, you have a start button, uh, you may have some pieces of food that pop up where if you eat them, the frog becomes smaller, making the game easier, or the frog becomes faster, uh, making it, uh, the game easier to play because you uh, ate the golden fly or the red fly or something that comes out here. So ask yourself the question, wouldn't it be nice if, and add two to three additional elements into the game that make gameplay better. You could spend a lot of time on this, um, depending on how long, uh, how much time you are given at the end of this project, uh, but there are absolutely a lot of things we can add to make the gameplay better uh, and to make the game more interesting and more fun to play.